Everyone who walks into the, to the atrium and sees that work rendezvous, which overall is 18 metres wide by 6 metres high, two small space capsules are moving through this Baroque church interior. People are quite stunned and captivated and mesmerised. Grazia Tideri, born in northern Italy in Padova in 1963. A key aspect of her work is the, the notion of personal memory and collective memory. Grazia, similar age to me, I very clearly remember the moon landing in 1969 when Neil Armstrong stepped off you know, from the spacecraft onto the moon. That there was a huge proportion of, of the world's population all watching television at the very same time, you know, for the first time in history. That night, uh, probably, it was the starting point of all my works. She was really intrigued by how television, you know, broadcast media could kind of link people together in a way that had been unprecedented in, in history. That it was television looking to another planet and the same memory is in me, is in Greece, is in an American. There's a constant reference to that kind of period of history that really sort of sparked her imagination and her career. Light is a very special medium for me because uh, it is a still a mystery. We look at the sky and uh, in the darkness we can see some point of light that are stars, but they are still a mystery. The projector is uh, still a point of light. So when I turn the projector uh, in the direction of one wall, an image appears in the wall. But if I turn the projector to the sky, the message can travel for a long, long time, and so I like to imagine my projector like a small star projecting one image from me. She's very interested in how the design of cities for thousands of years has had a relationship to the structures we see in the sky. The ideas of mapping stars and celestial structures being reflected in civic structures and the way we organise ourselves on the ground. If I show, for example, Orbita Rosse in New York, they ask me if it is a special place in the United States. And if I show in London, they ask me about something that they try to recognize. So I, I like this part of the people, trying to recognize something that is near to them. But it is absolutely something distant because of the cities are nothing that really exists. My method is very simple and uh, domestic in one way because uh, I draw a lot so I started to have uh, the first idea and uh, I have just my book notes uh, drawing, drawing, drawing and uh, at the end I made hundreds of drawings and after I go out and uh, take a lot of images and after with this image I started to do an animation and every image for me is like one frame and another frame, another frame, and time between them so that they can transform one in the other one. So it is a very simple uh, work made with animation. Very long, but very simple. I would like to go to, to visit the desert next time in Australia. I would like to go to see the sculpture of the wind on, uh, on the desert uh, and this kind of red also of the desert uh, that uh, I think that will be surprising me. I hope it will be soon uh, in, the next, uh, in the next time. <laughs>